Welcome to Tom Fuller Reproductions. I'm Tom and this is Box Plus. Boxed is an effect that begins your program and gives you a fantastic ending to your program. The plus are some card tricks that you can use between your beginning and your fantastic ending. I'm going to demonstrate, uh, yeah, I'm going to just show you Boxed a little bit. Uh, it's an effect that is so cool. First of all, just dump out the cards. And I think what we'll do is we'll show it to you a little bit close up. First thing we're going to do is remove the jokers. The next thing we're going to do is have someone select a card. Uh, let's take one of the jokers and I'm just going to run it across the back of the cards. I have somebody say stop whenever they choose. We'll go back here and we'll say they say stop right there. Didn't have them spread too much, okay? So, we now have, so we've selected the Seven of Diamonds. I tell that individual, remember the card, do not forget the card. Now, we're going to go into whatever tricks you're going to do. If you're going to use the ones that we gave you, I'll show you one. I uh, Just take the deck, have somebody cut it. Now, I explained to them that I want to do a trick with four random cards. I want to try to create a trick that a gentleman taught me years ago how to do it using four random cards. And you take the cards and you try to make a card trick that makes sense out of four random cards. So what I'm going to do is just cut to a card. Okay. And well, let's do this. Let's cut to another card. And we'll take the deck and we'll maybe cut it a bit. And we'll cut to another card, and one more time, cut the deck, and we cut to a card. So we've cut to four random cards. Here we go, we're going to do a trick with four random cards, and I have to turn them over, and I have to create a trick as I go along. So the first card, Ace of Hearts, oh, that's good. Ace of Hearts, just bring them back here so I can see a bit. Ace of Hearts, good card, we can do something with that. Uh, let's see, this is... Ace of spades. Well, that's good. Two aces. That makes it really easy. And we have, oh, a three ace and four aces. Well, that makes it real easy. That's called cutting to the aces. That's a setup for the next trick, which is four ace assembly. Then you have another four ace trick called your deal. And then we end it with another trick called I know your card. So those are the four tricks. So, you're done. You're finished. You've completed your tricks. You're ready to end your program. You take the deck of cards. You hand it to the spectator who originally selected the very first card, uh, which was the Seven of Diamonds. You give it to them. They take the deck, and they go through the deck, and they do not find the Seven of Diamonds. They will go through the deck again, thinking that they missed the Seven of Diamonds. They'll go through it again. Uh, maybe a little snicker will start, maybe a little laugh, maybe you go, well, this is a magic program, so obviously we have to do magic. What was the card you thought of? The Seven of Diamonds. I say, well, why don't you pick up the card box? He picks up the card box. I say, please shake it. They shake it. Here a card on the inside. They open the card box, and lo and behold, out comes their card, the Seven of Diamonds. That is Box Plus. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the 4 Ace Assembly. Watch me carefully. I'm going to take the cards. I'm going to deal the cards on each of the Aces. By the way, this is the setup you get right after cutting to the Aces. You have the 4 Aces. We're doing a close-up so you can actually see what's going on here. We need some more cards. Okay, so I have a little packet of cards. Now I explain to the spectators that they have to watch very carefully because I cheat. That's right. I, how else can I do card tricks? I have to cheat. So, watch me carefully. And I'm going to go very slow. Very slow. So be careful. Don't take your eyes off the cards. I'm pushing that into a little pile, pushing this into a little pile. And if you watch carefully, you saw me push 
the cards into a little pile. I am going to take the aces and turn them over. Or am I? You have to watch. I'm putting them on the bottom. Or am I? That's right. Keep an eye out. Now, if you were paying attention, what ace should be under there? <laughs> Never mind. What card should be under there? An ace. Correct. You were watching. Putting them on a new pile. What card should be under that pile? That's right. An ace. If we were doing this right and you were paying attention, every card should be an ace. I'm going to lay the cards out. Let's see where we are here. One, two, three, four. Now, if you were paying attention, what should that card be? That's right. That should be an ace. So, we'll lay the other cards out just on top, just like this. That way we have four piles of cards. I'm going to take the ace pile right there, and since we're close up and I don't have much room, normally I would spread them out, but I'm going to turn over the card, a top card on each of the pile. They'll be our marker cards. There we go. So I have three piles of cards and a pile of aces. Now, we have to eliminate some cards. So this is pile one, pile two, pile three. Name two of the piles. One and two. Very good. So we will take one and two, and we will discard one and two. And now we have two piles. We have the aces and we have the threes. Now I explain to the spectator, not only do I lie and cheat doing the tricks, I'm also very lazy. I don't like to do a lot of work. In other words, if I wanted to take the aces and move them to here, and take these cards and move them where the aces were, how many moves would it take me? I'd move the ace over. That's one. Move the three over, that's two. So I'd have two, four, six, eight moves. I don't want to make eight moves. No. What I want to do is do it as, as make as little moves as possible. So I will do them as I'll take the ace, and I'll move it here, and I'll take the three, and I'll move it there. Now somehow I have to get the rest of the aces over there. Or maybe I'll use a little magic. I usually reach into my pocket, pull out a little magic wand, Wave it over this pile, wave it over this pile, maybe do a little thing like this, do a thing like this. Normally I have the spectators do this, all right? So they move them around, move them around. I say, oh, how good. Magic word? Of course, magic word. Oh, I think you did it. I think you did it. I think you this pile of aces here and moved them right over to this pile over here. And that is four ace assembly. I hope you enjoyed it. This is your deal, one of the box tricks. Hand a deck of cards to your spectator and say, deal them into a pile. They start dealing you in a pile, you tell them, stop anywhere, but don't let me influence where you stop. Your choice, stop wherever you wish. Let's say they stop right there. Tell them, set those cards aside, pick up the stack, deal them into four piles. And they deal them into four piles. And the spectator does all the work on it, which is kind of nice. You know, you sit back, you relax, you let somebody else do all the work. Yeah, we didn't come out even, but that's fine. Okay, now the magic happens. Have them wave their hands over the cards. Whatever shtick you want to do, uh, you know, shtick is shtick. So you do whatever you want to do, whether you want to do it, have them do it. It's entirely up to you. Work it in because it is amazing because the dealer having a free choice of where they wanted to stop, actually wound up with four races, and that is your deal. This is I Know Your Card. Take the deck of cards, give them to your spectator, have them shuffle them up. They can mix them up however they want. Now, you're going to have them take a card. Now, I'm not going to know what that card is, I'm going to try to get it close enough to you for you to be able to identify the card. Okay? Good. Then I have them put it back in the deck. And we're ready to go. I'm going to try to find their card. I'm going to try to know their card. I'm simply going to turn the cards over. And when I feel, when I feel it, that the next card is their card, I, I get that feeling. I mean, I will feel it. 
Usually I feel it. Once in a while I don't feel it. But most of the time I do feel it. And no, 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 these are not, no help here. Boy, the feeling, maybe it's left me, I don't know. May, oh, wait a moment. I think this might be it. This might be it. Is that your card? And if it is, that was your card. I knew your card. That's I know your card. Hope you enjoyed it.